My name is Dr Gail Hayward. I'm a family doctor and a researcher at the University of Oxford. I'm going to talk to you today about my study investigating the role of steroids to treat sore throats in patients who go to see their family doctor. We conducted a clinical trial to evaluate whether steroids might be helpful for patients with sore throat without need them needing to take antibiotics. Steroids are a medication which reduces inflammation and we think inflammation is what causes the sore throat to be red and painful. Previous studies have shown that patients with a sore throat who took steroids and antibiotics felt better quicker than patients who just took antibiotics. But nobody had looked at whether steroids on their own could help patients with sore throats feel better faster. This trial was important because sore throat is a very common reason for patients to present to their family doctor. For example, in the US, about 6.6 .6 million patients will come and see their doctor with sore throat each year. We know that most sore throats can be get better without antibiotics but family doctors still prescribe antibiotics to over half of the patients they see with sore throat. The more antibiotics you take, the more at risk you are of developing an infection which is resistant to antibiotics in the future. So it's important that researchers try to find new alternative treatments for sore throat which don't involve antibiotics. We wanted to see if steroids could be one of these alternative treatments. In this study, we recruited 565 adults with sore throat who'd gone to see their family doctor in South and West England. We randomised them, that's like flipping a coin, to either receive a corticosteroid capsule which contained 10 milligrams of dexamethasone or an identical capsule which contained no active ingredients called a placebo. After they'd taken the medication, we sent them a text message at 24 and 48 hours to see if they felt completely better we also asked them to fill in a diary to tell us how long they'd had moderately bad symptoms, whether they'd taken any antibiotics and whether they'd had any time off work. After 24 hours, we saw no difference in the proportion of patients who felt completely better in the group that took steroids compared to the group that took placebo. However, after 48 hours, we did see a difference. More patients in the group that took steroids felt completely better compared to those who took placebo. There were 35% of patients felt better in the steroid group and 27% in the placebo group. We didn't see any effect on the time taken off work, the duration of moderately bad symptoms, or the use of antibiotics. There are some significant downsides of prescribing steroids for sore throat. In the short term, they can cause increased appetite, difficulty sleeping, and acid reflux. If patients take steroids daily for a longer period of time, they can also result in weaker bones and high blood pressure. However, we don't think patients with sore throats would take steroids frequently enough for these to be a problem. There are some limitations to our study. Our study didn't recruit patients with the most severe sore throats because we couldn't ask doctors not to prescribe immediate antibiotics to patients who were so unwell they needed them that day. Also, patients with heart conditions or diabetes or other medical conditions where steroids have greater risks were not included in our study and neither were children. The takeaway message to clinicians and patients is that we, our study findings do not support the routine use of steroids for sore throats in primary care. Steroids did not affect the overall burden of symptoms in patients, did not reduce time off work and did not reduce the amount of antibiotics used. We did find that they improved the chances of complete resolution of symptoms at 48 hours, but this needs to be taken in the context of the short and long-term side effects of steroids, and we don't think in this context it's a clinically significant difference.